All right, what's going on today, guys? Welcome back to the episode of the stream, the only stream. Uh, we got some bad content for you today, but not just by me, but uh, we're gonna be watching some bad content too. But if you guys have some other bad content we can look at, please send it to me. I would love to see it. That's my favorite type of stuff. So make sure to stick around. Check out the Demon Time merch if you haven't. I'm gonna be chilling here for a little bit, guys. We have the Demon Time and Massive Hater merch here in a variety of colors. Show people you are a little demon on Demon Time or that you are a massive hater. Join my Patreon where I I drop an exclusive sample pack each month. You can also download the ones in the past as well as some other perks and exclusive content. And best of all, you'll be supporting me and my ability to create content consistently on my main and second channels. Thank you. Want that Demon Time shirt? Well, fucking buy it. No one's stopping you. Fucking buy it. Okay, so the first bad content here, this is something I was suggested. Tatro, I'm bad at sound design, so I tried this. So Tatro here has a sponsored video by Rolly. He basically uses AI to sound design for him. I'm guessing because he doesn't know how to sound design. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's that's like what I picked up from it. Okay, so let's watch this hey, here. Hey, Busy. Hey, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Hey, Busy. My favorite sound. I wake up every morning, I hear that sound. Okay, let's check this out here. There are two things that I'm not really good at in music production. Actually, there are a bunch of things I'm not really good at in music production. <clears throat> Is it YouTube? <laughs> But two in particular are synthesis and sound design. Oh, okay, so, okay. When I got a message from Rolly asking, hey, want to do a video about synthesis and sound design? I was like, eh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a big fan of that mic. I would never buy that mic. I, I'm really, I'm like really, that's a funny looking mic. See, it's not just me thinking that. It's a really long mic. I would never buy that mic. It's just too long. I don't care how good it sounds. Never buying it. Uh, but then they said, you can use chat GPT. Now I have no idea if this is- I can't believe they would say that. They were just like, you can use chat GPT? Like what? Why would they say that? I'll be honest, I used to be a fan of this guy, but he just gives his haters so much attention for no reason. It gets tiring after a while watching him complain. I wouldn't buy the guitar on his wall. Okay, well, I wouldn't buy it either. I see you're into girthy mics. I just don't like my mic so long, you know? Going to work, what chat GPT is even capable hey, busy. of in terms of designing for a specific synth, but we're gonna find that out today. Let's grab the Seaboard Rise 2 and try it out. I want to see somebody do like a comparison between the Seaboard and the Osmos. I have a feeling the Osmos just shits all over it. I wouldn't know. I've like, I've only played the Osmos at NAMM and I've never used the Seaboard, so I have no idea. All right, to kick this off, let's see if this is something that ChatGPT is even interested in doing or capable of doing. I like to be- I mean, would ChatGPT like say that? Like, I, I don't want to do that. Nah. Sound design, it's all you, man. Kind the robots, you know, for when that big AI revolution and they start coming for the humans. I, I was a nice human, AI. I was a nice human. Hey, GPT. I'd like to design some sounds in Equator 2 today. Wonder what happens if you're like, hey, chat GPT, I'd like to get f***ed in the ass. Like, what does it say there? What does it say if you say that? Why did he say, hey, GPT? You don't have to welcome the AI. Maybe he really is trying to like soften the AI. Like, hey, I'm not a bad one, okay? I'm not one of the bad ones. Okay, what kind of sound are you looking to create? Let's do something that I think- I'm gonna close the video as soon as you mention chat GPT. Not us though. We're gonna, we're gonna dig in deeper here. Or maybe we could ask ChatGPT, should we watch this video? Is this a video I should watch? It'd be relatively easy. I'd like to create a pad sound similar to the dreamy atmospheric sounds of the Blade Runner by Vangelis. Let's see if this is actually gonna help us achieve this sound. All right, step one. Maybe it gave some pretty detailed steps there. Choose a waveform that's rich in harmonics. Such uh, should I ask ChatGPT if I should watch it? Okay, let's see. Let's see what it says here. Yeah, let's show my password there really quickly. ChatGPT, fuck you, Tatro, you suck. Oh, they're gonna be like, you stole content from me. <laughs> should I watch the Tatro video? What if it's just like, fuck no. Uh, it doesn't know about it. Uh, here are a few steps that you take to make your decision. Check the channel to get idea of the content they produce. Video description and thumbnail. User feedback. Well, you can't really judge user feedback though because you can delete comments. And a lot of people do delete comments, especially busy work speeds. He's gonna delete all your guys' comments. So if you leave a comment on him, he's gonna, on his videos, he's gonna delete that shit. Time investment. Consider the length of the video. Ooh, yeah, he's right. I mean, he's right here. It's kind of a long one, I don't know. Is Tatro related to Tiesto? No. Is sawtooth or a waveform um, pulse with modulation? Here we have equator two. Let's jump up and choose a sawtooth. Detune multiple oscillators slightly to add thickness. Let's turn on a second layer and let's do a sawtooth again. And like ChatGPT said, let oh, this is like, this sucks. I'm just gonna skip ahead a bit here. All right, let's check the final sound. It's pretty cool. Okay. I don't know. 
Losing interest here, man. I don't know. Someone told me this video sucks. Thank it does suck, but it's like not it's not sucky in like the good way. Remember, we want to be as gracious to the robots as possible for, you know, the AI revolution that is quickly coming. So I will say thank you so much, GPT. Glad I could help. Don't thank kill me. Friend. Just and then say don't kill me. Don't kill me when you decide to kill people. I appreciate it. Wow, so appreciative. Enjoy creating dreamy atmospheric pad sounds and have a great time making music. I will, GPT. Thank you. So next, I actually asked on my Instagram for you all to give me some descriptions of some sounds that I could design. Some were literal, abstract. There were multiple fart references. But let's start to pull from that list. This first one could be interesting. TJ Music HK. This video tastes like water. Yeah, it's very bland. This dreamy kalimba, huge and super wide. Let's design a new sound how can i make i like how when you talk to chat gpt you get to speak like an ai or not even ai sorry an npc what is the difference really me kalimba can be a lot of fun says gpt okay, i don't know if it's a go. rings but tetro right, has the hands of a 70 year old woman um yeah in this thumbnail here actually he looks very veiny it's pretty it's pretty disturbing actually if i can be honest here some very disturbing sh let me just show you this here oh, my face is in the way god you get the idea here very veiny very veiny and I find that hot, as do you guys, I'm assuming. Open a new patch, of course, that's gonna be our first step. Let's use a simple sine wave as the base oscillator. Let's choose sine wave. Uh, who, why would anyone wanna watch the sound design section? We'll crank up that stereo width. Re like this, this sort of video doesn't really make any sense because it's like, you could just go do this yourself, you know? I mean, I guess you could do that with certain videos, but it's just like, literally, you're just following instructions. Reverb, a generous amount of reverb with a long decay time. Of course, big reverb. It's got that clicky sound because you're fine. Okay, let's hear the results here. Sound then. That sounds like, uh, that sounded like a, a dream sequence. Like the, the sound, like the sequence of notes you'd hear right before a dream. A whole tone scale. Sounds pretty dreamy to me. Thank you, TJ, for the suggestion. So I did ask folks on Instagram. Can't roast AI generated music? Watch me. Watch me. Um, to be a little bit abstract. And I got kind of this really interesting abstract sound idea here from Pedro. It says, a floating sugar cotton inside a glass cathedral. I have no idea what that means. I don't know if ChatGPT will know what that means, but we're gonna try it. I'm ready to make a new sound. A floating? Sugar cotton. Okay. I'm, I'm curious to hear where this goes. This dude smokes a lot of weed, huh? Yeah, I, I get that vibe too. Inside a glass cathedral. Let's. Are you talking about me? I'm angry because I don't smoke weed. Okay, get it right. I have no idea what it's going to come up with. Let's break down the description and translate it to a sound design approach that captures the essence of this unique idea. Floating. The term floating suggests weightlessness, gentle movement. Sugar cotton implies something soft. Okay, this is more interesting than everything else in the video so far, for sure. Fluffy and delicate. Glass Cathedral evokes an image of grandeur, transparency, and reverberation. The sound should have a... Okay, let's hear where this goes. Yes. I found out we weak fucks up your brain, so I quit. Yeah, weed must have really fucked up your brain there. You didn't even spell weed correctly. The sound test is not epic, not gonna lie. I mean, I guess it kind of sounds like the description. Like that, that noise kind of sounds like sugar. I, I can kind of hear it. go smoke weed right now shame on you shame shame on you sir shame shame on, shame on you i'm gonna be calling the police all right so keep that in mind hardware is cringe music is cringe guys if you still make music <laughs> i feel sorry for you dude what are these rings man i feel like this guy casts spells when he's not making youtube videos What level wizard do you think he is? All right, so what did you think of that process? I was pleasantly surprised. It's clear that there is limits to chat GPT and sound design, but for me, somebody who- oh, This joke is a little harsh. Weed is legal? Yeah, that's what they all say. Um, God, this this is gonna sound kind of mean here, man. Um, 
He kind of looks like a cancer patient here. <laughs> I think it's just because of how pale he looks and how skinny he looks. Oh, <laughs> uh, we got to get him his last wish, guys. Who's not really super familiar with designing my own sounds in a synth like Equator 2, it kind of gave me the first steps in designing a Was that too far? <laughs> Was that too far? Dude, he doesn't have cancer. It's fine. It's perfect. He, it's fine. He doesn't have cancer, all right? To be fair, I also look extremely red all the time. So, you know, the hat is a little unfortunate. <laughs> I think it's more so the coloring of the skin. I think it could be the camera too, though, you know? Just a little weaver even for you. But if he did have it, it'd be fine. Yeah, you know what? Okay, okay. <laughs> Chaitra, if you see this on Weaver's second channel, I was never here for that joke. Career ended. Can't make a little cancer joke here and there. Disavow, disavow, retract. It's not that bad, come on. I mean, if he actually has cancer, then okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sound, and then I could use my own, you know, musical judgment and the limited knowledge I have of synthesis to know whether it- It's okay, guys, I have cancer, all right? <laughs> Remember when I went bald, when I went bald earlier this year? <laughs> Was, you know actually correct or whether it was going to actually help me achieve the sound that i've described and that last preset was actually great i've started using it in a track i'm working on already so thank you to everybody who submitted cool ideas if that's something we're interested in doing in the future as a community i would love to do that let me know what you thought about the sounds in the comments down below and i do have a link in the description for 10 percent question is your zodiac cancer now i'm a sagittarius so you know i make i make mistakes every now and then i i, I um what do i say i put my foot in my mouth every so often so you know <laughs> busy writing this down everything for his next video he's like oh and he said he had cancer then he said he had cancer holy sh would you believe this guy we don't smoke no more cupping that mic at the base hey yo demonic for sure i knew he was a demon i knew he was a demon isn't your whole island covered in smoke nah it's the other island off equator two or anything on roly sh i don't know if you know this but there's several different hawaiian islands i think it's seven i don't know i don't, I don't really go to them oh yeah it's seven okay that yeah, was correct I'm on Oahu. I believe that happened on Maui. Shop, use the code TATRO10 to take advantage of that. And thank you again to Roly for sponsoring this video. Shout out to all the members. That is going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been TATRO. Have a good one. I have more cancer jokes loaded, but I'm just like, uh, I think I've, I feel like that one was too far. He seems like a nice lad. Yeah, he seems all right. I guess like the reason I have it out for him a little bit is just like the Unison Audio promotions. But, you know, Bolo's done some Unison Audio promotions in the past, too. Has he done any recently? Let's look. Keep them in the bag. Why not, man? Can't do cancer jokes anymore. This is f Okay, hold on. Let's see if he's done any Unison Audio promotions lately. <sighs> Let's see. Well, I don't think he's done any more Unison Audio ads. Good for him. Well, let's go. Proud of you, man. Proud of you. You don't need to, man. You don't need to. Incorporated.